Okay, and I prepared a piece of paper. It's a uh, and also let me show you the size. Leave enough margin to fix on the board, drawing board. Okay, and I now I use a rolling pin to hold the paper to, to roll the paper into a, a roll. I use the kitchen pencil. Yeah. My wife's kitchen tour. So I put it aside here. I'm going to paste. I use this big brush, pipe brush. Okay. I start from the center towards both sides. You can see that. Don't worry about the wrinkles at this this time. The wrinkles out later. But first, wet the whole thing. Face down. You can see the excessive water or, or paste used um, because the painting kind of flow. So I can easily flatten it. So it's wet and transparent. Uh -huh. Get the bubble out. Mm -hmm. I drive all the bubble. You have to be very gentle. Mm -hmm. Slowly and be mm -hmm. careful. I, I don't work specific on uh, uh, specific wrinkles. I just kind of stretch the paper. Mm -hmm. The wrinkles will be. So all for all the wrinkles. Uh -huh. so just do the gentle. Yeah, you can see it's the, the paper kind of moves. Because mm -hmm. the it's floating on the glass. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Except the outside of the picture. How many times do you need to do this action? And as, as, uh, enough you know, to flatten it. Now I think it's uh, done. Enough. Mm -hmm. You cannot do too much, right? I, I'll use the paper towel to clean the surrounding area. Okay. Towel, huh? Mm -hmm. Dry. You can, you can dab. Try this one. Just wipe the actual paste. Okay. Now the next step is to put the back on. I use this brush. The stiff brush. Uh -huh. Palm fiber brush. Uh, mountain brush. Okay, and uh, to press really hard with the uh, paper, or you can use newsprint. The newspaper is fine, believe it or not, this print won't get the dirt uh, because it's wet. This What's the purpose for doing that? Just make uh, the two sti stick together. Firmly. The painting and the back paper, right? Stick. Right. You can also. No bubble in there. No air in between. Mm -hmm. So this brush, you can do that. Over newspaper, you don't want to directly on the paper and break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the moisture? I tuck out from the yeah. picture. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to to paste the, the out the margin, outside the margin. Prepare for uh, fixture on the drawing board. 
fix it. Oh. Actually, the margin is just the back paper, right? Yes, the margin. The back paper itself, mm -hmm. not painting. No, not inside the picture. Yeah. Otherwise, it would, it would never took off. Sounds scary, huh? No, no scary. <laughs> okay. Now I would uh, lift it. I just lift the picture from one corner. Make sure the two layers uh, stick together. So we start from the corner. I use a knife to help. I pick one corner first, and I use this uh, gesture. I okay, use my finger, so grab the... And thing. also the brush, mm -hmm. the mounting brush. Okay, yeah. so, so make this sure two of them to stick together, and you lift the two things, whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, so ready to mount on board. We just use the board to dry. Okay. So I just fix the margin, not the picture on the board. Mm -hmm. It would stretch during the drying process. So all the air would be pushed out by the stretching effect. It's okay now to have a little bit air or bubble, but there's no bubble in between the two layers. So make sure that it will not took up. So I kind of okay. Finished. Mm -hmm. This is the moment I like the most. So it's wet. Yeah, it's just like you just finished the painting. So the color is very um, cool. fresh, mm -hmm. but after dry, it's also beautiful. You know, the white will be whiter. That color will a uh, little bit fade, uh, not fade lighter, just like a watercolor. You know, when it's wet, it's uh, the vo volume is high. It's um, more uh, than dries. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> this picture I did several days ago. You can see it dried completely, so there's no uh, wrinkle at all, right? And I'm going to cut it off so I can make it available for purchase. Okay. Yeah, you can frame it if you got it. Of course, I will charge a little more for the mounting service. In other words, it's a, a special technique. Some framing shop may not be able to do it for you. For this wise paper uh -huh. They don't know how to do this. So this is a traditional way of doing that. They use some machinery to do that, but they can really achieve the effect here. See? Okay, you can have it. <laughs> Thank you.